waiting for Facebook to come up. That's what we're doing here. Hello, everybody. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's the ticket. Okay, we're on. We're uh, we, you know we're doing this show tonight. Uh, we're streaming live out on Facebook, and uh, we're doing this from our other computer, like we do our uh, Monday shows, our pop up shows, because we really like them. And so uh, we're just going to see how many people. Boy, we got a lot of people waiting to be on here. My God, this is maybe the largest group of people we've ever had at one time starting the show. Okay, so let's uh, push admit all and watch them all start popping in here. Some people uh, I haven't even uh, seen in the past, but here we go. Edward, oh, <laughs> well, Jeff Stein, let's see your whole face. Just adjust your camera there so we see your whole face. You're looking like Kilroy was here. <laughs> you know, there we go. Nobody knows what I'm talking about except the old farts here when I say Kilroy was here. Hello to Edward Berger. He's our cartoon voice. That's right. <laughs> Bill Meyer has joined us tonight, who's an old friend who has been on the other show. And I figured tonight's not a night we're going to talk about politics particularly. So Phil doesn't have to get all agitated and things like that. <clears throat> I'm ready for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome uh, 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 Robert Natale, who has uh, been uh, the newest edition this year of Regulars. And of course, from our uh, other show that we do, which is the uh, 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 the Monday show, Rick Sheckman has granted to join us tonight to bring in a festive New Year. Well, I look at it this way: I yeah. would normally be at your apartment, and then have to drive home at twelve thirty. So we have spent almost every New Year with each other for the past. Well, since you moved to the Harlem apartment, yeah. And we always would have a little party here, and, and you were here with us. And uh, then I would go and hope that the car wasn't blocked in by the people in the churches around the block from you. Right. Then, of course, we've got Alan. Hello, Alan. Hello. How you uh, doing? Yeah, he knows uh, Phil. He's friends with Phil. Uh, and uh, then, of course, uh, there is a, a Brian Neary. Happy New Year. Oh, it's happy NYE. Okay, that's New Year's Eve. You didn't want to spell out all of New Year's Eve. Everybody keeps posting Happy New Year's already. And I'm like, it's not even New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve. Only New well, of course, you're out in California. But, so of course but I, I'm, I'm ready like Phil. Yeah. Hey, you know why they post Happy New Year's at 8 o'clock at night? Why? Because nobody stays up past 9 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, I'd be asleep by now. <laughs> well, no, what normally has happened? We do, you and I are here, midnight comes. We At go 12 15, I get, I leave the apartment. Whoop de fucking do. And 9 15, you leave the apartment and we go to sleep. You know, yeah. the fireworks are still going on outside. Now, here is Marjorie. Hey. In hey, Pam. Wait a <laughs> moment. Sorry. Turn your Because here. No, turn yourself <laughs> and there's no echo light. Turn on bedroom. It's, yeah, she's got to tell the echo to turn on the bedroom. There we go. I have to turn sideways so we can we don't have to get you in that. Oh, that's a good place. idea. There we go. Okay. Is that, is it, come on, jump in the frame. Come Hi, on. everyone. So you decided Hi. Not, Hi. you weren't going to come. I decided to put a hat on. You decided you weren't going to come in here and be uh, be with me for New Year's. Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try to come in. I'll work on it. Yeah, well, this is this is New Year's Eve with old farts. Really. <laughs> Hello there. Is that your is that your lovely everyone? Pal, please Robert? meet my lovely wife, Patty. Patty. Hi. Hello, Patty. Patty. Hi, Patty. <laughs> for joining us. Yeah. yeah. And, She's become a big fan. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because really? she wants to see me, not you. <laughs> 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 now, wait a minute, Marjorie. Everybody's when you get a chance, you should get some champagne in here. We'll pour you That's some. That's a great idea. Oh, oh when? Here you go, Marjorie. Oh, this is oh, for you. Tell it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, Put your I'm hand up. When? Go fetch me some. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> a flagon of champagne, please. Yeah, that's going to be poisoned. Yeah. If I come into your room, do I need to bring the iPad? Uh, well, you could, I suppose, or you can sit next to me here because I'll sit next to you. Out of room. Yeah. 
Okay, so she's she's uh, uh, signing off, or did she just? Turn my is still on. Just turn it off. To hang. Oh. How? How? <laughs> oh, no. Here, I'll get rid of you. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Remove. Okay. Here we go. There we go. We removed her. Uh, do you want to report Marjorie Miller? No. What happened? I'll tell you later. It's <laughs> Brian, Brian's in a tux no. for the occasion. Oh. Don't, don't report. Yeah, I got I got my uh, my dressy pajamas on. Nice. <laughs> I, like I should I should have got a little bow tie. Right, well, I've got yeah. I got to show you this because Marjorie sent out the LL Bean. These things were like forty bucks. <laughs> Went and got these for me. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. But you got extra large, and I'm not wearing extra large anymore, so they're falling off of me. But. Maybe you better sit down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pull the Just pull the string. What do you mean I better sit down? Uh, anyway. Uh, I don't uh, demonetize you. That's right. Well, the, forget it. We're doing it on Facebook. There's no demonetization on Facebook. They just throw you off forever. Hold on a second. Let me see if we're going out there okay. I mm. want to make sure. Yeah, we're uh let me see here oh yeah we got uh, we got a bunch of people watching yeah this is cool i only, I only have a wine glass where we just packed up our kitchen to do remodel jobs so we have yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I, saw, I saw your stock yesterday brian 222 i guess you can uh, have two kitchens if you want <laughs> i guess i don't know what we do about earphones thank you <laughs> you know where their earphones are Marjorie, I see the police are in my neighborhood. Uh, quite often, probably. Uh, well, they're yelling, "Taser, taser, taser!" Don't move. Here, wait a minute. I've got to get her. Really? Yeah, my new neighbors. Well, you know, are, can do. Are real. Actually, turn this up. A Assholes. Where it's not a feedback, but you can you hear them? Can you hear everybody? Listening? If I wasn't here, I'd be out front watching the police tase my neighbors. Come on in. <laughs> hey, that'd be a great live stream. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've never had that on the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never had what on the show. What the hell is she doing? They're, oh, they're, I'm they're tasering uh, Alan's uh, neighbors. Alan, take your uh, laptop outside and let's see the neighbors. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, wait a minute. Is anybody else trying to get in? No. Cheap champagne with ice. You didn't bring oh. me any? You didn't drink it. Well, but it's New Year. Well, take it with mine. That's enough. Okay. You know, Tiffany doesn't stuff. drink, so I'll be drinking the whole bottle. So I might as well start now, 8.30. <laughs> Don't do that, because you, what you did is you, you, you almost sleep. took everybody off the air here. Hey, Brian, if you don't start drinking now, the bubbles will go away. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what kind of part of Yeah. Hmm? Is Isla Bardo going to be in uh, Times Square tonight? I don't, oh, don't think so. <laughs> Are you pictured? Well, this is uh, this is an interesting New Year Eve. I mean, it's unlike any other we've done, or uh, that not we've done, but America has done, or in any country for that matter. I mean, well, have you seen, seen any of Anderson Cooper tonight? No. Yeah. What is it? Is he sitting there? Uh, at times They've got a guy getting a tattoo <laughs> live on the air. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. That's it. Do we ask where the tattoo's yeah. going? It's on his arm, and they'll show it to you when it's done. I guess so he's not Jewish. He's what? not Jewish. They're really dying for uh, for things to do this year. Oh, if you want to see flop sweat, turn that show on. Yeah. I mean, we, we, yeah. they have them in Times Square, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, because they're letting <laughs> healthcare workers in the baddest spot in. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. They're playing so, drinking games now. <laughs> oh, are they really? And yeah. He and what's his name? That other guy. Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to. They, they zoomed up. live to Andy Cohen's parents about forty minutes ago. I wonder if they're going to kiss at midnight. Huh? No. Huh? 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 This they is twenty twenty. You can never tell. <laughs> it's they ask Cohen's parents if they're disappointed in him. <laughs> <laughs> No, they didn't bring it up. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna, you know, um, 
Every, I'm tired. What I'm tired of is everybody saying, "Thank God, 2021 is here. Oh uh, everything's gonna. Uh, 2020 was so bad. You don't know that 2021 isn't gonna be worse. That's, that's <laughs> I guess it's not gonna be better tomorrow. It won't be yeah, better tomorrow. Right. You're right. Well, I'll tell you something. Somebody who's probably not going to be here tonight. Yeah. Uh, our good friend Tony has come down with COVID. Uh, oh. As has his mother. His mother. And his sister. And, his sister. Uh, okay. and it was all because the sister teaches kids. Yeah. And then she goes over every couple of nights and bathes her mother. Oh. Right? And then... <laughs> Goes home one Tony night and says, do I'm, that? I'm, wait a I'm, I'm not feeling good. And it turns out she has COVID. So now the mother comes down with it and wound up being rushed to the hospital. Oh, sure. I mean, uh, supposedly she's coming home though, right, Shecky? He said Saturday or Sunday now. Saturday or Sunday. So but that's clear. So it's not, mm. you know. Yeah. It's that family. More of a heart rate. Yeah. What? That family is a family of super spreaders. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told That's our I, company. what I told Tony was that because you know he gets paid for taking care of his mother, and which uh, includes which old includes time, medical time and a half. Hold on a second, Kevin is trying to get in here, um, it, it, which uh, includes time and a half for overtime. So I told him, look, the bad news is your mother's got COVID. The good news is you're getting overtime. <laughs> you may have to take sick leave. And, you know, the, the thing is, uh, if uh, he might have a worker's comp claim, if his mother gave him the COVID. <laughs> yeah, this is getting very complicated. Sue his mom. <laughs> what? Can't do that. You imagine what that wallpaper looks like if you're sick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you got sick? Shit! <laughs> oh boy. Well, anyway, it's been a it's been a, a, a really strange year, strange. all the way around. You know, I started to think about it, and what anybody remember what the first big tragedy was of the year? Yeah, me oh, falling on that ship in Antarctica. Oh, Kobe Bryant. Wait a minute, you did oh, that, was, that was on New Year's or close to New. No, Year's. it was it was like January sixth or seventh, I think. Yeah, I think that may I may have something that preceded that just by what? a tad. The Australian oh, Jack. fire. Jack Jack. What? Uh, what did you say? Jack, Jack yeah. Garfine. No, well, Jack Garfine died this actually to, uh, act, today. No, yesterday. The yesterday. 30th. So he didn't he died in 2019. The first big tragedy were the forest the fires in Australia. Australia. We started off the year with those fires. Now, it doesn't mean anything to us, and it doesn't seem like a tragedy to us, but a couple of months later, you had all of California burning down. And seven other states. And seven other states. But and Kobe Bryant died at the end of January. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but is it a tragedy for us or tragedy for he and his family? Well, well for sports, and he did a lot of stuff for kids and stuff, so he's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, uh, you know the that was the first big tragedy, and then all of a sudden, one thing after another, after another, after another, until we look back at the last year, and this has just been you just say you know what's next, you know, and uh, 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 Kevin, I mean Kevin uh, Brian uh, has worked with a company that does works on tests and so on. This is a good example of it right here um uh the test for covid and it's been uh, it's been quite a year for you guys right i mean oh yeah so we so since this year right in march we got approval from our parent company all the funds to open up two more facilities so that's what i've been working on one yeah. near fremont in newark and then uh, one in lodi and those are going to be huge facilities and the newark one is just doing covid and fluvid both of those assays so and it's pretty big but then china and india we had those coming up for mtb for tuberculosis but now we're changing course and we're going to run uh covid first in both of those plants wow yeah so yeah. Yeah. so it's pretty big for us so it, it, it but it's we could say business wise it's been a good year for you for certain businesses yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very interesting because i thought it was pretty quiet with covid in our company <clears throat> and i just heard somebody else got it 
Uh, but I heard uh, January 1st, there's supposed to be a California law that any company that has COVID, they have to report that to people and also public. It has to be public that somebody has been, wow. yeah, been diagnosed with COVID. So it should be pretty interesting what's going to happen. And we so. haven't seen the spike from the Christmas holidays. Yeah. yeah. That'll yeah. be in a this, couple of weeks. This is Tony's letter saying that he was positive. Mm -hmm. I can't it say it, came, but I it, believe it, you. It came from the Grand Care delicatessen <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I sent you a copy of that which Shecky sent to me. huh no i sent that to Shecky. It, 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 it what food company was it it was a grocery Key store Key yeah. food. he did it in a in a in a grocery store well, but apparently it does say pharmacy on that form yeah, yeah, it does say pharmacy. Or it does they have a pharmacy in the key food. Oh, yeah, they have a. Oh. Here, if it was a, if it was a uh, delicatessen. <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll mean, be um, <laughs> yeah, right on, COVID on rye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that Warner's and Disney have shut down TV production? All TV production. Oh, yeah. Really. Today. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's so bad in California now. I mean, you don't even dare go outdoors. I mean, it's really, it's really pathetic. Uh, and yeah. it's not that good here in New York, but it May, certainly mainly isn't like it is out in California. We're fourth from the bottom right yeah. now. We're still fourth from the bottom, yeah. Yeah, I think Alan was just saying, yeah, it's worse than Southern California. They have like no beds available right now. Northern California is starting to free up a little bit, <clears throat> but Southern California is a lot worse right now. Yeah. Well, it's like we're in New York. We're two over here. April. Yeah, well, they had how many deaths in California yesterday? I mean, they were almost like, well, once was a national death toll they had in California alone, something like 2,000. Charlie, just said. Somebody was dying every 10 minutes. Because <clears> of <throat> the gatherings, people keep having these yeah, parties. Like I went, one of my friends on Facebook has a party going on over at the Fairmont tonight. I'm like, are you guys kidding me? They said, oh, it's limited, limited capacity. No, it, it, I said, it, it, what it, the hell? That's a good example. When we look at Tony, and I was mentioning this to Shanky, uh, Tony's mother and he lived in the house together. He watched out for his mother. And they are, because they're together and not going out and getting COVID, they're kind of a bubble, all right? <laughs> They form a bubble. Now, daughter comes in from the outside and she bursts that bubble. And, you know, daughter doesn't have anything wrong with her right now, but she has enough that when she sees mom and gives her a bath and then leaves, mom comes down with COVID and she comes down with COVID. Yep. Now, she didn't know she had COVID at the time. So this idea, we're going to have a party and everybody's going to be socially distant and we're going to wear masks. Sure. <laughs> Don't yeah. count on it. You know? Yeah. Know who's coming. But then they pull off their masks. Huh? Yeah. They walk in with the mask and take it right off. Right. Yeah. Right. He's, uh, especially if his sister's teaching. His sister's teaching with kids. I mean, not since we've seen that, but I mean, they're with... Well, the kids won't wear their masks. Welcome, please, to the program, Mr. Infection. Hello, yeah. Tony. What's up? How are you, Mr. Infection? What's up, <laughs> What's oh, up wow. with you? What a way to end the year, right? They say one out of 11 people hours. have COVID right now. You know that. Yeah. One out of 11 people have COVID. And how many people do we have here now? <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> well, Tony. Yeah. How's your mother doing? Actually, I just called the hospital. She's doing she's doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, she did another Remdesivir to, uh, today. Remdesivir. Remdesivir, yeah. And nice. they think she might be able to come home maybe Sunday. They're not sure yet. Okay. Hey, yeah. hey, and hey, she's hey. sleeping. She, they gave her that uh, melanoma tonight to sleep. Melanoma? Trying, melanoma is a skin cancer. You're talking <laughs> melatonin. melatonin. <laughs> yeah. Melatonin. She's calling me in her sleep. When can he come home and take me? It's my hey, Tony. Tell her I'm positive. <laughs> oh. Tony, did you did you get uh did you take your temperature before you came on the show? Yeah, actually yeah. I have my wear a mask, I'm please. 97, <laughs> six, I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for Trump to give me the heat stroke soon. <laughs> this is great. Can you put on a mask, please? I feel a little more safer. Tony, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Tony, yeah. Tony, put your forehead up to the screen. <laughs> Alex, I've taken my temperature. You know what it is? I huh? napped from, I was just watching the off couple. I said, oh, let me see if Alex is on, because he said, you're on. 
I went to, I'm a little, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, I was a little tired, but I was also stressed out when you find out you have, you know how he told me I was positive in the pharmacy, Shecky? But the Fruit Loops, I had to wait to come out because I was doing my shopping. And he said, oh, Trevor goes, I, I got your results. So I'm sitting there, I says, well, I know I'm positive. He says, yeah, you're positive. So he goes, what, I said, what should I do? He says, he should just go home and drink a lot of vitamin C. He said, you got no temperature? I says, no, I don't really. Do I you? told he went to a delicatessen <laughs> to get his test. I, well, Keyfood has a gigantic, I'm not even lying. Keyfood has a gigantic pharmacy. So I took the rapid test quick. He charged me a hundred bucks, 130 bucks. I think if I'm going to die, I want to know like within 20 minutes. I said. Do, do, you have, do, you have, do you have insurance? Do you have uh, health insurance? Yeah, I do. Well, why did you I, tell I me you had my uh, company if I want? Huh? I could probably send it in. I feel a little tired, though, I was going to tell you, like, when I, maybe because of everything that was going on now, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, are you feeling, are you to have a fever or anything? No, no fever. Okay. You look I'm terrible. Not <laughs> I'm not even shaving. I'm, just go, I'm not shaving at all. I'm going the whole way out. Maybe <laughs> that's just the lighting. I don't know. <laughs> I just woke up about 15 minutes ago. If you tell the city you got COVID, it may not let you work. I, I just asked Trump for the 600 bucks. I figured, you know what, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to eat Big Macs on the way out. So <laughs> well, you know something, it's, it's pretty, right. but uh, 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 Phil yeah. is right. You know, you can probably get the uh, workers' compensation for this. I know. I asked him, keep my mother a little longer. Don't rush her home too much. <laughs> I mean, we don't want, we don't want your mother to die. By the way, better, you better sue your mom or your sister or something. For my something. sister feels bad. Join our, really join our happy festivities. There's James Lee. He's in uh, Hawaii. I hope nobody gets it. It's not that bad, but it's bad. It knocked my mother on her ass. Yeah, he's trying King to. King of the giant cockroaches. What? King of the giant cockroaches, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee with the giant cockroaches. Right. Hello, Hi. James. How are you? It's a little bit noisy. We're blowing out firecrackers now. Yeah. Now you when do when do you get New Year's? You're the below. Well, right now it's a little. It's coming up seven o'clock. So we get to blow up firecrackers between nine p.m. and one a.m. We buy a twenty-five dollar fire department permit, and we're allowed five thousand pieces of firecrackers. Wow. Really, James? Uh, wow. Even Walmart, they had an eighty-eight dollar special. <laughs> what do you need firecrackers for? Fire you live crackers. on an island with a volcano. You know, it's back, uh, here, let me show you something. I don't know if you can see this. What? Ah. What is that? Oh, it's a roll. Yeah, it's a roll. Yep. That's a lot of firecrackers. Oh. Oh, Holy mackerel. And set it off. Hey, just hold them right there and light a couple for us. Oh, man, that, that <laughs> blew my arms right off the hill. I, this will keep the cockroaches away. I think that's illegal in New York City. Yeah. yeah so let's see here. We got Jeff. We got Jeff and Pamela. And there's, yeah. but yeah. you're spending that's New Year's. Yeah. I, I, I would imagine you're spending it alone. We have my mom for dinner. Yeah, okay. And now I took her home, you know, like a couple hours ago. Yeah. Not and now. and how about Robert? Uh, what are you and your wife doing tonight? <laughs> Just the two of you. Right? We're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> we usually have a big party. That's right. The best thing to, way to spend New Year's, I think, you know. And of course, Rick is there with uh, is that vodka you're doing? Of course. <laughs> how come I knew that? I mean, you don't drink anything but you sip? no, no, it's champagne and no, I'm waiting till no, I drink scotch, I drink rum. What'd you say, Rick? But I'm not that fond of champagne, so yeah, so but you say you do rum, rum, like yeah. a rum and coke, yeah, and then scotch straight. No, we're coming up on midnight pretty soon. Uh, at which time I will play old Lang Syne and we can get on with the damn show. And we can take this to 1230. It wouldn't be too terribly festive. Uh, plus the well, old will have to... What well, else happens at midnight? Hmm? Adobe stops supporting Flash. What, as of midnight? Adobe's going to stop supporting Flash as... Yep. Hmm. Oh, wow. Let me ask you, Shecky. Um, uh, you know, there were... I, I, I was thinking about... Now, I was going to give a list of all the stars that died this year or people that died this year. and We'd be here at four in the morning. I might do it on Tuesday. 
you know, but it takes so long. I mean, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's, it's amazing how many people we lost this year. Little Richard, yeah. yeah but how about, how about from you, some yeah, of the people, remember, I don't remember some of the people that most, a lot of the people here are not concerned with who were in the movies in past years. I thought, first one I thought of was Olivia de Havilland, who was 104. Yeah, she was 103, so, you know. 104. 104. Yeah. And then I was lost Marianne, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. Well, of course, we lost Don Wells. And Shecky has met Don Wells at what one of your conventions said she's very, was very, yeah. I mean, she goes, she went to all of those. She and was, she did uh, off Broadway years ago. I didn't see her, but she, you know, she, she worked mm-hmm. in her retirement. She was a big uh, animal rights person and took in stray horses <laughs> and all sorts of things. I, you know, I mean, what happens to, all of that when uh, you pass. Yeah. Aren't you a life member, Phil? Hmm? Aren't you a life member of her uh, animal rights? No, no, I'm just a life member of a fan club. Oh, okay. <laughs> I grew up in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. But then, then also, this is interesting. I watched a movie the other night on TCM. And if I told you that this person was dead, you'd say who? But uh, as soon as I mentioned it to Shecky today on the phone, of course he knew who this was. And he was, I think you were probably very proud of me that I even sat through one of her films, Baby Peggy. Who? Baby Peggy. Now you may not know of her, but if you lived in what, 1924, you definitely knew about her. She worked from around 21 to 26, maybe, that era. She had, at eight at eight years of age, she was toast. Yeah. yeah. And, and but she was the biggest child star of the time, I think. The no, only, Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan also, but I think she was bigger. Actually, she did more films than Jackie Coogan. Did anybody touch yeah. Honey Boo Boo? Honey Boo Boo? No, nobody can touch Honey Boo Boo. Do you want to touch Honey Boo Boo? Uh, For her films in uh, New Jersey. Oh, Honey no, Boo. California. Yeah, yeah really? California. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, Came from a family of stunt people, mm-hmm. and wait, there was in one westerns other. and things like that. And she died. Uh, she died in August, I think. And she was a hundred. It was sometime this year. I can't. I've lost track of when these people have passed. In fact, they said they kept saying she was the oldest living silent film star alive. Well, I guess if you want to use the word star, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You know, but there are a couple of performers in silent films that are older. Let's see, who is 12062? Are you there or am I going to have to hang up on you? It's a are birthday, you? 12062. 12062? No, it's, 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 it's the person's having problems. And quite frankly, I don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. I don't know who they are. Uh, we just removed them. Okay, and then it's going to say you want to remove move it. No, report to Zoom. No, I don't want to. Uh, so, James, it's a nice night out there in Hawaii, is it? Well, right now you probably hear the firecrackers behind me and the whistles of the cokey frogs. Of the whistle, whistle. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, be quiet. No, no, we don't hear it. They, we did for a minute. But we did for a second off. there. Yeah. Frog, you coke. <laughs> the cokey frog. They're, They're no bigger than your thumb, but they whistle all night. <laughs> uh, did you hear any any firecrackers out there tonight? Because we were firecrackers oh, central. They were doing it all night. But here? Well, now making noise. Now? I, I'm not there now. Yeah. You're in New I mean, York. Lola's very smoky. Uh, she doesn't normally stay up this late, do you? I had to set the alarm clock. Well, we've got one minute. <laughs> Till midnight and the oh. end of a horrid year uh, and the beginning of a potentially another horrid year. Uh, At least half a year. Hmm? Oh, I was right. The what? mayor's going to push the button for the ball. And the mayor is going to push the button for the ball. And his other wife. Yeah, he's standing there with the wife. Uh, yeah, uh, the wife. In the overpaid uh, civil servant. Uh, yeah, well, we had well, 30, the one that has a billion dollars in the Grand Cayman. It we have 30 seconds till midnight. Everybody, uh, when you get a chance, you can lift your bo- glasses of champagne 
and have a toast. We have 15 the, seconds till the midnight. For you. What? Oh, is this a little bit for me? Yeah. The ball is coming down. And uh, right. let me see here. Uh, and oh, Edward Burke's got his lights on. Five, That's four, funny. three, two, one. Here we go. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Sucks for you. We still got three hours of drink. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. I won't make it another three hours. <laughs> no way. Well, thank you, Alex, because for the year, you kept a lot of these people here. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go. That, and that was our um, 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 public yeah, domain. Tribute to Guy Lombardo. Huh? No, I couldn't. I, last year I used Guy Lombardo and they demonetized me. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, you said. I'm One dollar. Get in the bedroom if I'm still awake. Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New, Happy New, New Year. Year. Yeah. There, there, goes, uh, there goes the old broad. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At least you get her to stay up. Mind it's been a good year now. for you, James. How's it been? Oh, the mayor's, you, you mayor's dancing with his wife now. <laughs> He's arrested. Nobody rat. else will. Nobody else will. Exactly. Uh, James Anderson Cooper will. We're doing fine. We're we're retired, but we're not dead. Yeah, but I mean, you haven't gotten COVID <laughs> badly in Hawaii, have you? Say again. You haven't gotten the COVID very badly in Hawaii, uh, have you? We're averaging yeah. about uh, on our island about seven cases a day. A, a day. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the total Honolulu's hitting about fifty-five a day. I do uh, uh, volunteer work with civil defense on the MRC uh, Medical Reserve Corps. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the contact tracing phone calls. Since I'm an old guy, I can't see people, but I make these phone calls. The people that are stuck in the hotels in quarantine, I do what's called a stay put phone call. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> are you are you staying in your room? <laughs> and then, of course, they all pitch to me about how come the food is so crappy? Why is nobody bringing up any beer to them and all that good stuff? I James, figure if you complain, you're doing okay. James, yeah. I thought if you got a COVID test four days before going to Hawaii, you did not have, after October 15th, you didn't have to uh, quarantine. Uh, is that changed? You better check quickly because it changes almost on a daily basis. And here's another problem, Phil. Uh, Honolulu, Oahu, which is not my island, they have different rules compared to my island. It, it sounds crazy, but they do. That is crazy. So if you land in Honolulu and you want to go to Maui, you might be stuck in Honolulu for 10 days. No. Before you can even go on the Maui, I kid you not. That's wow. And then when you land in Maui, they might stick you for another fourteen days and wow. screw you. Uh, 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 I guess I'm not going to Maui. Can't see anything. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> yeah, you can't see anything with those things on, Edward. Hey, uh, somebody wants to say Happy New Year's. Uh, Happy New Year. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Tomorrow, everybody's pounding mochi over here. That rice cake. Oh, I love mochis. The mochi, you know, it's full of gluten, but hey, you eat healthy the next week. <laughs> yeah, it's got the ice cream in it, right? Well, no, that, well, no, that, that's the, that's one, but we pound it hot. And of course, you got to be careful. You get, you get your fingers hit when they come down with that big old popper, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> mochi. Yeah, full of gluten. Well, we we hardly ever we hardly feel here. We've hardly ever seen uh, Mrs. Neary, uh, who is the the uh, has the ability to put out absolutely beautiful children, uh, and and uh, I see why now. Okay, and yeah, yeah, and you too, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, if, if, if you're the negative genes in the family. <laughs> what is your wife's name, Brian? Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah. Tiffany. And Josh, where's your wife tonight? Probably uh, might be asleep or she's upstairs watching TV. <laughs> yeah, we, indu we induce that kind of romance, don't we? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the special pajamas tonight. Woo! And that's right, what I'm <laughs> Oh, yeah. You, you, you got a special midnight. You're going to get hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wear those pajamas. 
Uh, Kevin, uh, what do you, you, you and your wife are just hanging around the house, right? Yep. You're going to be asleep before midnight? Not me, but she will. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, hey, romance is in the air here. How about uh, Pamela? It's oh, I'm just wild and crazy tonight. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty she good. It's up at 4 a.m. And Alan, how about you? You haven't said anything tonight. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's uh, at midnight. We're doing cigars instead of liquor. <laughs> you, and, okay. you and your roommate, right? Me and my roommate. Yeah, yeah, Bill was uh, a real man. He'd come down and have a cigar with us. Yeah. Hey, but yeah. You, you know, hey, he, hey, he may hey, have COVID. Neighbor, what did they just threaten to tase him? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't hear anything that's going on. I heard some more cars coming in. To the cul-de-sac, I, but they, that could be anybody. I don't know. I'm not going out there right now. Yeah. After the show, I'll go out, and if it's really good, I'll save save some pictures for two to take. All right. You gonna shoot guns in the air like Phil does? Hmm. Phil doesn't shoot them in the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is that? The New York City. Uh, yeah, Times Square. Times Square. Yeah. Oh, that may be the it looks like there are some people too. there. Are there, yeah, Shecky? The first yeah. responders. Wait, yeah. Shecky, are there people there? There are a lot of people in all over, <clears throat> excuse me, wearing Planet Fitness this hats. This woman walking around in a bathrobe here. <laughs> oh, getting yeah, good. <laughs> You're looking That's for your hard. bite plate. Did you, you didn't leave your bite plate in here. Is that martial <laughs> artist? She doing martial arts? Boy, what a romantic New Year's Eve. Where's my bike play? <laughs> I got one. God, you know, I suddenly realized I married an old lady. Um, you know, but she just realized she married an old man. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, what? You, you know, the first thing to go when you get older is your memory, and I can't remember what the second one is. <laughs> You'll find out. You'll find You're out. right. Now, Shecky, this time last year, was, uh, did, what, did you get sick or did you fall? Or what, what happened exactly? I fell on the seventh deck of the ship going back to my cabin. Okay. Oh, yeah. he, went, he went to Antarctica to see penguins. Are they interesting, yes. penguins? They smell. <laughs> <laughs> so he went, he spent a, a, a ton of money. I won't even tell you how much, although you got some of the money back. Well, I got $8,000 back for the missed days mm -hmm. because yeah. they evacuated me from the ship. They evacuated him from the ship to a hospital Ooh. where they, what, made sure you didn't get a brain injury? I have no idea why I was in the hospital, to tell you the truth. But now, isn't mm -hmm. an evacuation like $100,000 uh, you know, to, to do one of those evacuations? No, no, no. They just, the ship, when the ship docked in Tierra del Fuego, mm -hmm. they took me off the ship. Oh. Imagine okay. saying, being able to have the bragging rights that you were in a hospital in Tierra del Fuego. <laughs> was, and they wanted to take me off in a wheelchair or a stretcher. And I'm like, I can walk. You know, so I walked off the ship, yeah. got in a you know, cab or whatever with the ship's agent. Mm -hmm. And they took me to the hospital for two days. But you had already done the Antarctic arranged flights, first class home. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, but but you got to do the Antarctica part of the trip first, right? You know where you, where yeah, you stuck yeah. out, Just, hung out the with Chilean the smell, fjord portion. Yeah, you hung out with the smelly penguins. You know, you never you never get that feeling when you watch those documentaries with what's his name? Who's the British guy? Um, uh, Attenborough. Attenborough. Uh, th that, you know, they should have like smell a vision so you can smell how terrible the penguins smell. <laughs> yeah. You imagine, oh, I'm going to see the penguins. Oh, look at them. You know, and they'll go, oh my God. Well, all, all the penguins one do all here. day. What? You know, okay. all they do all, all they day is shit. And, and, and they know. eat fish. They mm. eat fish. Yeah. And that fish doesn't come out smelling too terribly good. <laughs> you know. But I admit that, and I told you, it was a 24-day cruise. I got off 15 days in, and God's honest truth, 15 days was enough. Mm, wow, 15 days is a lot, yeah. By the way, uh, James has a puppy doll, 
that's not a real animal. That's just a puppy. That's a doll. Yeah, that's Shadow. Oh, so that's that's, a, that's a actually it's a, what kind? What is that? It's a pug, right? Pug, female yeah. pug. Yeah, are they sweet dogs? Yeah, they, yeah, they uh, they're, they're good for children. You know, uh, they do a lot of digging and stuff. They do a lot of snorting and what do you call it? Uh, but she's about nine years old. But you know, uh, kind of a laid back pug, not an aggressive dog. No. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Just one of these, you know, feed me and chill out. She's had they that. They fart a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we don't have smell vision going on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, um, uh, what, what kind of what kind of year do you think it's going to be this year? I mean, uh, uh, Shecky just went. Eh. What? Or the same. More of the same. It's going to start out <laughs> just like it left off. You know, I mean, it's not like all of a sudden, oh, hey, it's midnight. We just played Old Lang Syne. Guess what? COVID disappeared. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. I mean, look at Tony. Tony, you feel better now? It's midnight. You don't have COVID anymore. <laughs> I'm only on day one. I am totally My mom's in camp right now. I come at home because it's over. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, exactly. What, what uh, Jeffrey? I may cut uh, out one of the one of the ladies that I know is actually gonna get the COVID drug in about ten days. Oh, yeah, she lives in assisted living in Connecticut, so we're real happy. Uh, the vaccine. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's a big deal. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it's it, it's a lifesaver. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, people are Absolutely. dying there, so it, it's ready. Hey, guys, I think the biggest. I'm gonna follow Margie. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See you later, Pamela. Uh, Happy New Year. We missed, we missed the two of yes. you. We have lunch every now and then. And oh, well, I'm saying by June, Alex. Like, by June, we'll be able to do it. Shecky, in about it, it'll be about a year since I've the only way I've seen Shecky is this way. Yeah. You know, and I used to see you what about once a month or something like that at least, Rick. The only way most people have seen their friends or their relatives. Yeah. You know. Yeah. In bed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when I go over to his house anyway, we sit in that room and he lies in that bed. So you know, <laughs> I just see it from the side. You know, I'm going to I'm going to think the biggest what I think the biggest thing, the biggest problem they're going to have this first six months is just the distributorship of all the vaccines. I think that's going to be the biggest problem. Yeah. So we're not we're not out of the woods for a while. Oh, they're already what having saying, problems. No, what are you saying, Tony? Is, is I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna lay down a little bit. Are you feeling sick? If you got some, if you got the COVID, I got it. I feel a little tired. Oh, okay. So I, I took get some rest I'm and we're all out here hoping that you'll be just fine. Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Hi, Tony. COVID infested <clears throat> for the citizens. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank, Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um. Uh, Edward Berger, what are you doing for New Year's? Are you are you alone or? I had, well, well, my uh, we, uh, each each New Year, my niece called. That that was that was why I went on mute. She calls me uh, on, on New Year's Eve. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So she just called just right. a couple minutes ago. Right. So that's how I celebrate. A lot of you don't know Edward Berger, but he calls the uh, Monday. Yeah, the daytime show. show. Yeah. He calls the Monday show usually, yeah. and yeah. Uh, we all have said over and over again that we really think he should go into the business of doing a cartoon voice, uh -huh. because he naturally uh -huh. has one. Unless you call us and put us on. No, no, no. This is my actual voice. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, well, Alex, folks, I'm gonna check it out too tonight. You're gonna go too, James. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep. I gotta have to give some Prozac to my doggies. I think it's getting a little noisy. Don't want to interrupt you guys. And happy New Year. <laughs> got a good you signal really, coming. Do you, the I mean, hold on a second. Do you really give Prozac to your dogs? <laughs> no, not real. Oh, okay. But I know people who do. <laughs> I'm gonna say, what a waste of Prozac. You know. No, exactly. What a waste. Okay. Well, thank thank you, you, James. We appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Stay here. Um. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go through one of those things about what's your resolution for this year? Huh. Because everybody makes resolutions and they don't keep them. You know, well, I'm going to lose weight this year. Bullshit. You know, you're going to do, you're going to do um, um, uh, one month, one month of one of those plans that are advertising on TV right now, because starting tomorrow, all those ads start, yeah. you know. Oh, by the way, the Central Park Conservancy 
at 11 o'clock sent me another email to let me know you have one more hour to donate to us. You know what, what happened today? Here's what happens. You start getting, uh, I don't know why it is. Uh, how many of you have gotten like emails for, you know, please donate to this or please yeah. donate to that, right? And wow. I'll get one. I've gotten one every day for the last month from Mount Sinai Hospital. Oh. And I, I thought today after being nagged at it for about the hundredth time, by email that, well, maybe I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll send them something, $15, $20. And then I went, but then you're on that list. And yeah. Never then I off. went, no, because they're going to keep writing me and saying, well, you gave us 20 bucks. Is there any more where that came from? <laughs> you know, like we, feeding a cat. A yeah. Were you going to say, Phil? It's like squeezing blood from a turnip. I, I don't know how many lists I'm on. I got to the point where I start deleting them first thing in the morning is I, I just want to, because I give, I give, and I've given plenty over the last year and I, I've had enough. Let somebody else give once in a while. By the way, I don't want to bring it up because we haven't mentioned the name tonight, but uh, have you gotten any from Trump recently? No, not really. Uh, you did donate to him. So that's kind of makes you, you know, several times. and, uh, and, and other things. But uh, no, the, the uh, call for donations have uh, really slowed down from, uh, from the Republican committee. And I guess they finally gave up. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what bothered me the most about those donations? Yeah. I felt I was being worked. Uh, they'd say, oh, well, if you give today, it's double the donation. And, the, and then it got to 800 times the donation. Well, who the hell is matching my <clears throat> donation? 800 times you know you give a dollar that that's like having a bet with natalie well, they have a match thing they have a match thing on mount, uh, mount sinai if you do it somebody will match your donation i think it's bs yeah. i think yeah, some other some other sucker well no yeah. but, but wait a minute prove to me there is a match out there you're right. just telling me there's a match you know they do this over at the channel 13 here does the same thing they say, "Oh, uh, send us a donation, and uh, someone will double your the match." Well, there might know. have been a match at one point, but that match may not exist anymore. But then they continue to to, to play it. That yeah. that is actually a con. And and it, at that, you know, I just got to the point where I was tired of being con. Do you get yeah. any of those, Kevin? Uh, do you which, get any? Which of ones? Those? The, just, just the people wanting money this time of the year. Oh hell yeah, all the time because I do, I donate to ALS and all that stuff, and they they pound you at the end of the year, of course. Well, my question is why they do it. I mean, isn't this the bad time? Because of the year to because do you it? can try and get the write off. That's why and they want you to oh, try I and get see. the write off. Okay. Because because I was thinking, you know, this is not the best time of the year to ask people for money because no, they've just can't spent get a tax deduction at the midnight tonight. Yeah, well, plus you know, and I, I'm I'm part of the Monterey Bay Aquarium too, so they they were they were trying to get more money because of COVID. Wait a minute, is that yeah. the reason why Mount Sinai said you only have today to give? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, to give yeah, to write it off. Because it's to write off. You can always give on. You can give tomorrow and write it off next year. You know, I sent twenty five bucks to, only because they had it on their site that they needed the money. I didn't get any. Was was. <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. They said only 2% of the people who ever watch, use us ever donate any money to us, and we really need money this time of year. Mm -hmm. And I figured, what the hell? How many times have I used Wikipedia? And but do we, we know that we believe them? Yeah, they act. Well, it isn't a question of believing them or not believing them, although they, they're much more accurate than they ever were. Uh, in but it's a company they've hired to do the fundraising. So it's not, you know, and you don't know how much those fundraisers are getting of your Well, I, I just felt, hey, you know, I have used them a lot over the years, you know, and uh, why not do it? I mean, you and I belong to a company that uh, does torrents. Well, I gave and, them to the $10. I gave them the $10. Every now and then they say we need a little more money than you've been paying us every year and we chip in, you know, you because know, we do. You know, you know, you've heard me now about 77 Sunset Strip. The last three seasons, the torrent is there, but nobody was seeding it. So I sent, uh, could you get someone to seed it? Within four hours, all three of them were seeded. So you watched all, all three seasons of 77 Sunsets? No, there's six seasons. No, tell them what you did today. 
this is this is showing yeah. you that we are just you know they, times have changed for us. Before on New Year's Eve, we'd be out trying to get laid, right? What did you do on New Year's Eve? Let's see. I watched this episode of 77 Sunset Strip. I watched Tex Avery Volume 2, the ones I hadn't seen yet. Yeah. Then I watched the episode of China Beach. Mm -hmm. And then I turned the two gay guys on until it was time for you. Boy. Lucky you. What a fun-filled night you've had. (laughs) And then I didn't realize the episode of 77 Sunset Strip is a two-parter. Oh. I got a lot of part two. Yeah. And are you and your wife doing anything special, Robert? Or are, they, is, are you just, you know? Yearly, we have a party here for friends that live in our community. Mm-hmm. And this year, we had to, you know, not hold it. And that's sad because we really look forward to it. Well, I, we usually we- we're here. Usually we have a small party here. Rick is invited. Our friend Natalia is invited. And um, um, in the past, Jack. And, huh? and Adrian brings a dog in a bag. Yeah, Adrian brings her dog and little pieces of paper for him, little pieces of a napkin or whatever for, for him to crap on. And then he doesn't crap on them. He craps on our floor. Uh, but but that's our new year, and that they've always that's always kind of been nice. So it's just a bunch of friends, and then midnight comes, we all drink a little sip of champagne, uh, we all hug each other, and by by two twelve fifteen, everybody's gone. The place is empty, you know. Going to the next party. Hmm. Mm. They well, go to the next party. It used to be you went to the next party. At our age, you're happy to go home and go to sleep, right? No, I'm- Heading over the Triborough Bridge, going home. Yeah, exactly. And so, so you, you, Alex, you do know that Wikipedia, mm-hmm. uh, the the company is owned by a Republican company, and they keep asking you for money. I gotta wonder if it's going to the Donald Trump reelection campaign. Is it is it owned by a Republican company? Yeah, it is, but I I don't think it's going to Donald Trump. I'll have to I, look that up on Wikipedia. Oh, I don't yeah. think it's true. Uh, you're gonna start getting them letters like I do from Trump. <laughs> yeah, somebody at Wikipedia is like, hey, we got a new sucker. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I mean, I, I've used them over the years. They they are part of my research, and it's you know, like I didn't know a lot about baby Peggy, so I looked up baby Peggy and there was a whole you know biography on her. So I learned everything I needed. Of course, I could have called you and found out everything I needed to know about baby Peggy, Jack, but you know. Yeah, but also Wikipedia is not vetted, like IMDb is not vetted. So some you have to take some of that information with a little grain of salt sometimes. Right, right. Uh, isn't there a isn't there kind of a somewhat of a vetting process they started to try and make sure that most of the things that were there are, you know, I mean, most of the stuff, if you look up the history of something or another, they're getting their information from a bunch of other sources. And it kind of works. Yeah, but those as, sources works, often are full of shit. It you know? works as the world's most complete encyclopedia, mm-hmm. you know. And how did you know the Encyclopedia Britannica was telling you the truth? It's printed. Hey, uh, you, you <laughs> know, what's that, uh, what's that thing that Trump wants to get rid of with the Internet uh, section? 230, 330, 230, I think. 230. It, it, some kind of protection they have. Yeah, so... Because they and they seem to filter out uh, right wing uh, uh, theories and, and so or so he, he claims, and I can't tell you if that's true or not. I don't you think know. I don't think it's any more or less true than it would be for something on the left that was erroneous as well. I, I see stuff because I have a lot of friends that are to the right, and I see posts that get filtered, and they say you can't see this picture, uh, and that may be fake, and uh, but. Uh, Wikipedia, uh, I wonder, do they have any re- uh, response, uh, you know, with the C, uh, Section 230, will that, uh, that'll probably affect them too. Uh, uh, yeah, it will. I think it's something to, it, they have certain protections right now. Right now. He wants those protections lifted. Well, yeah. they'll give you $2,000 a person if you lift them. You know. Well, you know, I, I think, well, I don't want to get into it. Let's not even get into it. Right. No politics tonight. No politics. Mm-hmm. Tonight we're being kumbaya. Okay, what? 
when you mentioned the internet and Wikipedia, it made, thought, made me think of uh, the Section 230, which yeah. they could probably fall under. Which then well. took us off into that political ditch that we're trying to avoid. Well, <laughs> Wikipedia is probably a foreign company, so they probably would not even be able to regulate them. You don't the know where a lot of these the Russian bots like people. Everybody asks me who owns Zoom, and I think it's. I don't even think it's South Korean. I think it's something in South Asia. No, it's a Chinese American man. Uh, it's a, a it's a guy who's Chinese, but he I think he's born in America. And uh, no, but it, I think it's it's a company out of Vietnam or someplace like that. It's not the United States. Really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. But they certainly have captured America. I would say if if they were going to have Times uh, Gizmo of the Year, it would have to be Zoom. I mean, so Zoom here's, really here's on Zoom's, Zoom. Zoom's information. They're, they're based in San Jose, California. It's an American yep, yep. technology company. Oh, yeah. And they're on the NASDAQ. So they're definitely not Chinese. Eric, no, no, no. Eric, Eric Yuan, uh, Y-U-A-N, is the founder and CEO of Zoom. He's made over $12 billion since March and now ranks amongst the 400 richest people in America. Uh, San Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right down, down. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. Get some uh, uh, I, I, I would be jealous and say he doesn't deserve mm -hmm. it or whatever, but really mm -hmm. he, he came up with something that really, it, it, that kind of technology was already here. Skype, uh, a couple mm -hmm. other companies were doing the same thing, but he took it and simplified it so grandma could use it. Yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. that was that was the great contribution. Plus, <laughs> plus the huge volume, plus the huge volume that they had to ramp up to. I mean, all of the stuff that's been happening now is not what they usually set up for. My friend's been there since a the startup. Yeah, and, uh, Josh, uh, do do you use Zoom at all for anything? Tonight, just to talk to you guys, just to talk to us, yeah. Uh, because I mean, we went to Zoom a while back just simply because it was so simple for people, you know. Uh, and and uh, the tech, you know, I don't have for instance, I used to have when we would do Skype, everybody would be glitching and breaking up and yeah. everything else. We don't have any of that. I can't remember a time when Zoom has crashed on me. Uh, it's it's it doesn't eat up a lot of your your power of your computer and so on. But um, no, I used it today with all of my uh, grandkids and yeah. uh, kids, and and they they use it, so they call. Marjorie me. uses it like crazy to talk oh. to her her lady friends. I call I'd call them she calls them girlfriends, but I think they're a little past being called girl. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, and and then even with and with teams also, but also there are options there. So like when I'm I'm at work in India, somebody from India has a couple of quick questions. They will they'll go ahead and send a message through Teams or Zoom and say, "Do you have a minute?" And I say yes, and then all of a sudden they're calling me through that, and they'll yeah. show me some charts and say, "You know, this room there's machines supposed to be over there. What's the power for that?" And all that stuff. So there's instant calling too, which is really good. I mean, it is it is it has is changed. It has given people the ability to communicate in a rather cool. turbulent and horrible time. I yep. remember when I was younger, when you made a long distance call on, uh, you know, AT&T or something yeah. like that, yeah. uh, they were charging you by the second. And, you know, you wanted to get on and get off as quickly as you could. Even when I first got cellular in like 1980, uh, it was a buck a minute and 80 bucks a month. And um, yep, I, I used to get on, get off, boom. Now, you know, it's nothing to call anywhere in the world. I remember when you make a long distance call when I was a kid and you made it fast. You know, you didn't. Or you talked to the operator to call, <laughs> let's say, quarter in. Francisco, and they would, you know, I'll call you back when I have your party. Yep, that <laughs> that too. Uh, you know, I mean, it 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 now and and now you don't even think about that in terms of long distance calling. Just everywhere costs the same amount. Yeah, you know, and when it, and forget that. When we do this, like face, uh, like uh, uh, when you do something like FaceTime, it's free. When you do something like Skype, it's free. This costs me fifteen bucks a month, but I have I can have an unlimited amount of people and stuff like that, you know. And where are we? What are we doing? We had a guy on from Hawaii, and we got a guy on from Connecticut, and a couple of people on from California, and a couple 
one guy on from New Jersey and one guy out in Queens and one guy out in Ohio. I mean, it just goes, it's amazing. It's an amazing technology. Oh, with all the money you're making off of monetization, you can afford you know, these. <laughs> <laughs> these well, I don't, yeah, yeah, right. Last year, I made $110. Thank you very much, <laughs> and gentlemen. How much did you share with the other shows? <laughs> well, if they want some of it, I'll send them some of it. I, I thought you were into socialism. You know? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. And, and I, when I looked up Zoom, I, I clicked on Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. And there's the thing asking for the money. Absolutely. Uh, right. Exactly. Uh, Buy pages of it, huh, Brian? Well, to, yeah. uh, to finish this off, oh, yeah, uh, yes. to finish off about my socialism, it's kind of like Phil Oak said that, you know, uh, liberals are people who are 10 degrees to the left in good times and 10 degrees to the right when it affects them personally. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, um, uh, but I haven't gotten that rich that I had to go to the, the right yet. So, you know, and one day you will learn you didn't have to either, Phil. But anyway, that's a, that's a, a let's not even get into that that territory. A Republican's a liberal that's been mugged. <laughs> OK, I'll accept that. Hey, let's uh, we'll bring this to a close. I want to thank Jeffrey. Love having you here. Thank you for being with us this year. Edward Berger, I love your voice. OK, okay. You got to call us at night. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Phil Meyer, for joining us tonight in a rare occasion that he is joining the nighttime crew here. But I wanted him here because I've known him all year and for years and years and years. And it's New Year's. And Robert Natali, thank you so much for your participation. And uh, I'm going to have a special thank you in a second. Thank you so much, Alan. Thank you, Kev uh, uh, Ke uh, Kevin. Uh, for being with us and thank you very much brian and josh mm -hmm. finally i want to thank rick because uh, this is i asked him to come on because i said i don't want to spend new year without you and he said sure i'll stay up yeah. and uh you've done it you've done yeah it. yeah has the uh has the, it somehow. has the vodka hit yet you know i look at the glass it's still pretty much full yeah he 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 isn't drinking any, anymore but he doesn't drink any less. It just, you know. but anyway. No, I just, I just like having it sitting here that I know it's here. Yeah, right. right. And it'll be sitting here tomorrow morning, pretty much at the same level. But this guy. And the best thing know. is he can just clap on and then clap off and he's this to bed. Guy, uh, uh, <laughs> he's been my friend for so long. And uh, I, I just, you know, it's one of the blessings that I have in my life that he's been my friend. Mm -hmm. So I won't get any any more maudlin than that, you know. Anyway, no, now it's Brooke Baldwin and Don Lemon hosting the CNN oh, show. Oh, oh, great! I can. Brooke Baldwin. I can hardly wait to get off here so I can see it. All right. And Don Lemon, you know, has his doggy with him. <laughs> hey, Alex. The last time I spent New Year's with you was in 1981. We went to Julius Castle. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, there's Robert's wife as well. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a happy new Thank year. You. And yeah. they've uh, started the honeymooners. You know, it's a marathon on New Year's in New York. Oh, okay. Not yeah, like you can't buy them on DVD. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Many time you like. Yeah. And anyway, I always like Kurt Kelton better. <laughs> anyway. Hey, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and we'll give Happy a Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year's, everybody. That's our New Year's lady. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you to all of you on Facebook for joining us. And thank you all for who are watching us after the fact as we stop this recording. Good night, everybody.